Hello and welcome to In Your Home Fitness. I am Brenda Lee and today's fitness video is going to be on full body stretches standing. Now these are great stretches that you could do basically anywhere. So you can do them at work or when you're just feeling just tired or your body is feeling a little sore or even after a workout. So let's get started. My first stretch that I like to do is especially for the lower back. We've been, if you've been sitting all day and your lower back is bothering you. So there's a couple ways of doing this stretch. What you can do is about shoulder width apart and just hang there. If you can touch the ground, it's great. But if you can't, you only get here. You're going to feel that stretch right across the lower back and even into the shaft. Uh, shoulder areas, pardon me. It's nice and relaxing. Remember to bend your knees. You want to get that part in there. Now you can also do it on the wall. If you have a wall, remember shoulder width apart, bend your knees. But if you don't want to do it on a wall, I like to do mine on an exercise ball. You can do it on a desk. And this is just a great way to get your arms out straight, head down. And remember, all stretches should be held for at least 20 seconds. Anything less is kind of useless. And you can hold it up to 30 or 40 seconds if you like. But 20 seconds it seems to be a sweet spot. Okay, so let's go to our next exercise. Let's put this ball right there. Standing. Next one I love because it's going to stretch the whole side of your body, especially if you have sciatica or an IT tight IT pad and you complain about that, this will stretch. And usually when you have a tight IT band, it's actually not tight, it's the muscle underneath. You have a quadricep muscle. There's four of them that come, that's why they call them quad. And the largest one sits right underneath that. And I'll show you a stretch on that one too. But let's get this one first. So I'm going to cross my leg. So I'm crossing my right over my left. But I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to reach over to my right. And this stretches everything from your fingertips right down to your ankles. It's a great stretch. I love it. And then remember, hold it for 20 seconds. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to flip it over. And so left leg goes over to right. Right hip is going to the left. And my arm is up. And I'm getting all my right side stretched. A wonderful stretch. You can do this many times a day. It's a great stretch. Now quadriceps. These are the guys that like to shorten. When we sit all day and our hamstrings, they get pulled. So we want to shorten these so that these guys can relax. So you can use a wall. You want to grab your foot and away you go. Now you don't want to have it up. You don't want to have it down. You want to grab your foot. And you can hang on to a chair or you can hang on to a wall, whatever is comfortable for you. And you want to hold it again, 20 seconds. You want to switch, hold it up, grab your foot. Because usually if these whoop, are tight, and pulling, they'll pull on your lower back and your hamstrings. So let's get at our hamstrings, our back of our legs, standing. Put one leg out. You want to come in a great stretch your goal is your toe but not a lot of people can do that because their hamstrings are very tight once we do that 20 seconds we want to switch and you can do this a couple of times it doesn't have to be just once right and the other now the one i like is the kind of like an inner thigh stretch you want to move a little this way and you want to stretch your inner thigh. You want to sit tall and you can lean over like this if you like. I prefer to sit up and then you can switch. 
onto the other side, which is a great way. Now, feet and calves. Quite often, if we have our feet shoved into a shoe all day, it doesn't matter what it is, could be a runner too, they still get achy and sore. Good exercise for that. And with our calves, is we come up on our toes and back on our heels. Up on our toes and back on our heels and up on our toes and back on our heels. Another good exercise, especially for ankles. Remember our ankles hold up our whole body. So they sometimes need a little stretch and nice circles, just little circles. And they can go the opposite way. And don't forget to stretch, switch feet. So this is a good stretch and away you go. And our last one, hands on head, shoulder width apart. We want to do our shoulder areas. So with that, want them up. We just kind of want to move them up and around. And then you can do it the opposite way. It's great for the shoulder area. Now you can do this one where you grab the hand and you pull up. That will involve all of your shoulder muscles. That's a great one. Some people it's higher that you can go or they can only go here. Stretches out the whole area. Now, if you want to do a next stretch, which is important too, you do down and up, and down and up. You want to look to the left, look to the right, or you can look to the right and look to the left. You're going to go both ways anyways. And down and up. And that's it. There's your full body stretch you can do anywhere. So if you have any questions, please contact me. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.